Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you don't know me, I am Ilya Rawaida and that is basically all you have to know for you to subscribe. Let's get on to the intro. I'm sorry guys, I'm literally on the floor right now but I have to do this quick because I have work to get back to. But I'm excited to share with you guys. As you can tell by the title, I just got a new phone and I just wanted to share with you guys what's different and what's not with my current phone. I'm currently using my good old 7 plus 128 gigabytes. Oops, 128 gigabytes in the color pink. Wait, I think it's called Rose Gold. I've had it since 2017. So this is my fourth year using it and I'm not going to sell it because I really, really love this phone so much, but it lags and I think the battery is not good. I changed the battery already a few months ago, but it still doesn't work that well. So I guess it's time for me to change. And I got the new iPhone 12. Girl. So I got the new iPhone 12 Pro Max, 256 gigabytes in the shade, wow, watch your makeup, in Pacific Blue. I was quite bummed. When it first launched, I actually wanted the Pacific Blue. But as time went by, I actually changed my mind and I wanted graphite because graphite is like sleek black. But then they were out of stock and they said they are going to be restocking in three to four weeks and ordering online would also take around the same time. I've been surveying this phone since the past few months so it wasn't an impulse purchase. I've been thinking of changing my phone a lot of times even though I'm going to keep the 7 Plus but I have to buy a new phone before I finish my studies because my mindset is that once I finish studies, I cannot be spending my money on wants. Like I have to, I have to start saving up, obviously. This year, my goal is to start saving up. So I feel like this is my one and only chance for me to buy something on my wish list before I start saving up for the future. So yeah, this is my gift from me to me. I'm babbling. So let's open this. I'm sorry I cannot do like the ASMR unboxing because right after I bought this, got my screen protector and my casing. So yeah, it, this is not going to be an unboxing but I haven't turned it on yet so we're going to do that together. Since this is a comparison type of video, let me compare the box that my 7 Plus came in. It's like it's like literally half the size. <laughs> this is what it looks like. The thing that I like the most is obviously the body. I've never had a 4, I've never had a 5S or a 5SE. My first iPhone was a 5C and then I straight away went to a 6 and then a 7 plus. So I've never had this type of boxy, edgy look, but I've always loved how it looked and I'm so glad that the 12 came in this type of body. The only thing though is that obviously it will capture fingerprints. That's why we have the casing. So I think I'm gonna <laughs> I'm gonna put it in the casing before I drop it. I already have a screen protector on, so don't worry, it's protected. So yeah, I guess we're going to turn it on together. Why isn't it turning on? Oh. So while it turns on, the reason why I got a Pro Max, I was thinking of the Pro. No, actually I was thinking of the 11 Pro Max. Um, I really wanted the 11 Pro Max Space Grey, which looks exactly like the graphite. Hmm. It's true what they say though. It looks kind of orange, the display, but it's alright. The reason why I got 
um, a 12 Pro Max is mainly because of the battery capacity and you can actually still buy the 11 Pro Max like at a few stores but it's quite hard to find I've been looking for it but I couldn't find it in stock so then I contemplated the 12 Pro I'm always on my phone so I need a good battery which this didn't provide me with so I feel like this will be a good phone for me and I hope inshallah I hope this lasts me a long time this is the reason why I love iPhones it automatically asked me if I want to set up this phone onto this phone so hold up your new iPhone up to your camera Wow, can you see? There's like this thing that I had to scan on. Now it's transferring. That's amazing. I'll be right back. While it finishes up though, let me compare the size of the two phones. It's literally like, this is like slightly larger than my 7 Plus. So I don't think it's gonna be a problem for me to handle the Pro Max. I've heard like that it's too big for you to hold in your hand, but I feel like part of the reason is because they went from a small phone to a big one. I don't think it's a problem for me. Ooh, now they're asking for Face ID. This is, this is my first Face ID phone. <laughs> wow. My 7 Plus is a Touch ID phone. So I've never had a Face ID phone, which is, that's kind of new for me. So if you're going from a Touch ID phone to a Face ID phone, that's gotta be pretty cool for you. But if you already have the X, is it? I think the X is where they started. The no home button phone. Yeah, the X. If you have the X and up, this is not gonna be fascinating for you. But it is for me. It's setting up my Apple ID. That's gonna take a few minutes. So, it says that it's gonna take about 36 minutes to transfer my whole iPhone 7 Plus into my new 12 Pro Max. So while we're at that, while we wait, I guess we can go into the accessories that I got. So we're gonna put this. Can you see like the height difference in the box though? Such a capitalist. So while that's happening, I went to Ninja. This is like my favorite place to buy um, accessories and honestly, it's better than Kedai Ustaz. Kedai Ustaz. Please don't sue me Kedai Ustaz. Ninja is where my heart is. So. And so far, all the screen protectors that I got from Ninja has never ever ever failed on me. And yeah, I got this um, thing. I got this for... 35 ringgit it's a full tempered glass even like even covers the top part it even covers up to the edges which is kind of nice and then i got the clear casing which is this one i got two of them one is for 12 ringgit but hear me out i actually got like one clear and one blue but then the cashier said, I'm going to two, it's buy two free one. I'm like, what? So then I got another clear casing because I know that I will never ever, ever get bored of clear casings. And then I got this cute blue one because it matches my phone. And then when you open the box, this is literally the only thing that you get. Like a USB-C cable. There's a SIM changer and stuff like that. But this is literally what you get in the box no earphones no brick but well i guess that's the price you have to pay with capitalism thanks apple Chapat la. after the 7 plus there's like 8 8 plus 10 10s 10s max se 
11, 11 Pro, 11 Pro Max, 12, 12 Mini, 12 Pro and 12 Pro Max. That's like a big generation gap between the 7 Plus and the 12 Pro Max. So I feel like it is worth the upgrade. If you're using like 10 and above, I don't think it's worth the upgrade yet. But it's your money, so you do you. But that's for me. I feel like this is due for an upgrade. I've had this phone for almost four years now. Even though there are no major complications with the phone, which is why I won't sell it. But I feel like it's due for an upgrade. And this one has A14 Bionic, so it's faster. It has better camera. It has better battery. It has a lot of new things that the 7 Plus cannot accommodate to. So that justifies my purchase. It still says 30 minutes, so... Well... So this is my new phone. Inshallah, I'll take care of it. I take care of this phone, so I won't have a problem with taking care of this phone. It doesn't feel that big in my hands. If you have a plus phone or a max phone, I don't think this is that much of a difference or that much of a problem for you to hold. But it does have a slightly bigger body. But as you can see, it has a major difference in the screen. Even though this one has a big body, the screen is teeny tiny. And this one, Phony Punya screen is maxed out. So this is the lighter scanner. There's three um there's three lenses. There's the telephoto, the wide lens, the normal lens, and the LIDAR scanner. So the LIDAR scanner they say is for low light. And inshallah in future videos or on my Instagram, if you don't follow my Instagram, it's Ilira Waida with a double A at the end. Um, I will test it out because honestly, I'm in a rush and I don't think I will be able to test that out with you guys today because it's still transferring data. But thank you so much for watching this video and thank you so much for being with me and supporting me. You guys are part of the reason why I'm able to buy this phone in the first place because obviously social media is my workplace. Um, yeah, I'm so grateful for you guys. Thank you so much. And I guess I'll see you on the next one. Bye!